Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm going to teach you one fundamental concept of Vedic Maths. This is so important to do any calculations in the Vedic Maths. Very, very important rule. One is uh, complements and this is balancing rule. These are the two fundamental concepts and very important concepts. The concept name is balancing rule. How to balancing rule, where to balancing rule? See, balancing rule is looks like additions. But it's not actually additions, but it looks like additions. Balancing rule we use in additions, we use in subtractions, we use in multiplications, we use in divisions, what not. Every single calculations we use balancing rule. Okay, so uh, this is just to, uh, when you are implementing it, when you are doing it, you understand how to do that. Just to understand idea, just observe. Uh, uh, you don't understand to see how, what is doing, what Satish Sar is doing it. Don't confuse it. Don't confuse. Just observe what I'm doing it. Okay, but when you're really applying in multiplication, when you're applying in addition, you'll understand what I did here. Okay, so it's a fundamental concept. So, uh, let's say the answer, you did, uh, suppose you did the addition, okay, you did the addition of like this. So, if you do addition, you will get the answer in the form like AB, uh, CD and EF. You got the answer like this. You need to balance the answer. When to balance the, when to, when, when we have to do balance and when we need to apply the balancing rule, everything you will understand in the coaching program. See, to understand all the demo videos and to understand, uh, you know, all basic concepts, I'm explaining the balancing rule, nothing else. Let's say, let's say balance 62 and that's a slash 56 or 52 or 54, any number, okay? Balance 62 and 54. When you're doing balancing, take the units place value, units place is 4 write down the 4 and carry the 5, carry the 5, 5 plus 2, 7 and next carry the 6, 6 there is no answer so the answer will be 6. See this is not additions my dear this is not anything just balancing rule. How to do balancing rule and what to do balancing rule, when to do balancing rule everything you will understood in the depth of the problems. Okay, depth of the problems, don't get confused, just observe and observe and observe. Next. Okay, next. If I, if I write uh, the problem like this, if I write the problem like this, 82, 61, okay, let's do two digits first, 82, 61, units place value, 1, write in the 1, and this is 6, carry the 6, 6 plus 2, 8, carry the 8, is there any other number, no, so the answer will be 8, right, simple, you can say this as a balancing rule and you can say carry over rule or carrying rule, whatever you call it as, I universally I call it as a balancing rule or carry over rule, carrying rule, anything you can call it as. Hope you understood. Let me give you one more example. Let me give you two more examples on it to make you perfect. 32, 46 and 38. Units place, write on the 8 as it is 8. Carry the 3, 3 plus 6, 9. Carry the 4, 4 plus 2, 6. And carry the 3, there is no carry number is the answer. Right? 8 units place value, carry the tens place value. 3 plus 6, 9. 4 plus 2, 6. 3 carry, the answer is end. Right? One more example here. One more example. Just observe my dear, it's not, there is, you can't verify the answer. Nothing you understand, just to learn balancing rule. 41, 64, 38. Let's say, 36, 6, 3 will be carry, 3 plus 4, 7, 6 plus 1, 7, 4 will be carry, 4, simple, 6, 
3 plus 4, 7, 6 plus 1, 7, 4 will be carry, 4, double, 7, 6. So if the problem comes differently, you know, the problem like this, the problem like this, 68, 74. This is little more deep of balancing rule. 4, 4, 7 plus 8, 7 plus 8, is actually 5. 7 plus 8 is what? 15. So 7 plus 8 is 15, which means 5. 1 addition. 1 plus 6, 7. How we are going to do? We can do it two methods. There is a one more concept in Vedic maths that is called n numbers. By applying the n numbers rule, you can able to solve. First thing. The other way, for your understanding, 4 we wrote, Right, 7 carried, when 7 carrying here, 7 plus 68, 7 plus 68 is 75. So this, this number becomes 75, right on the 5. 7 will be carried forward again. There is no next number, 754. This is deep, this is deep. Nothing difficulty here. Very simple, just carrying it, adding it. So let's let me explain. Let me explain a more uh, uh, you know simplest manner and uh, simple numbers. Twenty nine, eighty four. So write down the four, as it is four, eight plus nine, or twenty nine plus eight. Twenty nine plus eight. Twenty nine plus eight is thirty seven. So this 29 becomes 37. So 7, 3 will be the next number. 3 will be carry. So there is no next number, 374. 8, 8 plus 29, 37. 7, 3 will be carry. Simple, 37, clear? So if, if I get it a 3 digit number, 3 digit number, 48, uh, 76, like, um, like a 74. Simple. 4, write down the 4. 7 will be carried. 76 plus 7. You don't need to actually, by using the n numbers, you can solve simply. But for your understanding, I'm just explaining the little difficult method only. 76 plus 7. 76 plus 7 is, okay, 83. So this 76 becomes, 83, write on the 3 and 8 will be carried. 8 plus 48, 56. So this 48 becomes 56. So write on the 6 and 5 will be carried forward. So there is no next number, answer will be 5. Hope you understood. See, this you will learn in the applications of multiplication, applications of square, and applications of additions. It's a, just a fundamental. When you're learning that, you'll understand. There is a video, uh, you maybe find a video of multi 2 by 2 multiplication. 2 digits multiply with 2 digits multiplication. Watch that video immediately, and you'll be perfectly understand this uh, concept. Immediate after this, you watch that multiplication video, you'll understand. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.